Hey, what's up YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here, back again for another video, and this is the Canon Rebel T5i. Now, a uh, little while ago, a few weeks back, I had done a video uh, basically kind of going over uh, my review with this camera after using it for uh, the last year or so. I thought it was still a very good camera and a very cheap camera that you can get if you're just starting out uh, with photography, with videography, with making YouTube videos videos and I got a lot of questions in the comment section about what settings do I use and if I can maybe put together a little tutorial uh, on the basic setup on this camera so without further ado my settings for the camera T5i let's talk about it Okay, so before we get started, full disclosure, this is actually the Canon T6i. I sold my T5i uh, a few weeks after shooting that video, but uh, as far as the menus and the button layout and everything, you're not really going to see a difference. The only main differences between the 5i and the 6i is this has a 24.2 megapixel sensor as opposed to the 18 megapixel sensor in the T5i, uh, and it also has its uh, hybrid autofocus version 3, so the autofocus in this is quite a bit snappier than the T5i, but other than that, uh, performance-wise is basically the same. Okay, first things first, turn the camera on. You'll see the two dials at the, you'll see the dial at the top and the switch. You're going to put the switch all the way up to the top uh, next to the video recorder for the video mode. Uh, go in here, my settings, I like to shoot 24 frames a second, so we're going to click the uh, Q button at the top. We'll hit that, move the record size, you'll see 23.98 full HD. That's what we want to click. I'll click that now. Once I click my frame rate, we got to go over the shutter speed. And this is where the 180 degree shutter rule goes in. So this mainly pertains to motion blur. So right now you're looking at me, I've got a good motion blur going in and that's because I've got my shutter speed exactly double what my frame rate is, uh, or at least close to it. In America, we can get to uh, 50 on the shutter speed. So we'll do 50 because that's as close as we can get. Technically, we should be at 48, but 50, you're not gonna notice a difference. So shutter speed's there. Now I'm looking at my aperture and that really depends on the situation. Generally, uh, when I'm making videos, I like to shoot as wide open as possible. Uh, so I, in this case, I'm using the kit lens. So we'll take it all the way to 3.5. Of course, you'll shoot it as wide as you can for uh, the focal length you're doing. I'm on the kit lens and this is zoom lens has a variable aperture so if I'm shooting 18 mil like I'm doing right now I'm gonna have it all the way out to 3.5 that's gonna give me the most amount of um, bokeh or the blur in the background so with that being said then I will adjust the ISO accordingly again the ISO for this camera you don't want to go over 800 if you can help it so uh, make sure you get some lights if you can either use a natural light studio light just try to avoid dark places this is not a very good camera in low light uh, unless you got some faster glass so if you put like say a 50 millimeter 1.8 on here or even like a 24 2.8 it's gonna do a lot better but still overall this is not good in low light so I would avoid shooting in low light situations of course if I were to shoot slow-mo in this camera uh, this camera can do 60 frames a second at 720p uh, which admittedly doesn't look that great but uh, I shot uh, a lot of 720p b-roll just to get the practice and just to get practicing shooting b-roll overall and uh, get myself used to switching back in the setting of which of course you're shooting 60 frames a second in 720p but you're going to want to crank that shutter speed up to uh, 125 so just keep that in mind that's going to make the image darker so again be careful usually I'm doing low light or usually I'm doing b-roll outside so I don't have to worry about the low light but just something to keep in mind okay going on to focus now uh, again this isn't the fastest focus in the world but for me for the majority of what I do it works great when I'm going into the focus menu that's up at the top here so AF method it kind of depends on what I'm doing I found that 
uh, I'll use mostly I'll use the single and the tracking now I'll use tracking most often if I'm say I'm vlogging or from outside then I'll try to do the tracking if I'm doing a video like this um, talking head video sometimes I'll do tracking but I like to do the single point autofocus and once I do the single point autofocus I put that uh, autofocus point right in the center so that way if I'm looking directly down the lens I know that I'm in focus and once the T55 gets you in focus it holds the lock pretty well so you can move around a little bit and it might fuzz for a second but it'll quickly get back on track so uh, another thing if I'm say if I'm uh, advertising a product or something like that and I can put a product up to the screen and pull it back and then it'll focus back on my face so uh, I like to do single point focus in the studio for that when I'm outside or if I'm moving around uh, say for instance if I'm vlogging I like to do uh, the tracking and then again, if I'm happen to do anything uh, as far as cinematography wise, if I'm maybe shooting a short video of somebody, uh, something to that effect, I will just use manual focus. And when I'm using manual focus, I'll use the uh, little punch in feature here. And then I'll punch in as close as I can, which usually goes five to 10 times. And after that, once I end up using manual focus, I'll just rack focus until it's good. And then after that, then I'm good to go. Again, with audio settings, for the most part, uh, I uh, use external shotgun mics. I usually just put it on auto. Most of the time, I'm getting pretty good sound when I just put it on auto. Okay, and lastly, for the picture profile, I shoot my picture profile in neutral. Put it on neutral, and I'll take the contrast all the way down and then I'll bring my sharpness up by one so that's gonna give me um, a flat enough profile that I can touch up the colors a little bit in post and I can pull a little bit more out of the video also there are other extensions you can do you can download CineStyle on this uh, uh, camera pretty easy you can just go to the Technicolor website uh, make sure you have your EOS utility uh, downloaded and from there you can just download on the memory card and it's good to go but for me I generally don't use CineStyle uh, hardly at all I usually shoot neutral for my YouTube videos just for the sake of workflow I can color grade much faster in post if I'm shooting on neutral as opposed to shooting CineStyle and I myself I'm still practicing and trying to teach myself CineStyle uh, well how to properly color grade on it that is so um, there's that Okay guys, so I do believe that's all I got for you, but let's talk about it in the comment section below. Questions, comments, concerns, threats, uh, what camera settings do you guys use when you shoot video on your camera? I also forgot to mention that 30 frames a second is also a viable option, uh, especially if you're starting something like a gaming YouTube channel like I did early in my career, I shot in 30 frames a second. Actually, the T5i, the autofocus, seems to work better in 30 frames a second, so uh, that's something to be aware of also when you're shooting autofocus make sure your lens has the STM uh, on the front of it there that's gonna let you know that it has a stepper motor it's gonna uh, it's gonna focus faster it's gonna focus quiet as well so you don't hear all of that in your uh, cameras or your microphone so your microphone doesn't pick up all the z -z 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 of it kind of focusing in so that's another thing to be aware of but um, if you like this content please go ahead and give me a like and thumbs up if you haven't done so already and please subscribe you'll be glad you did I do believe that's all I got for you lightsaber samurai out peace